Hey everybody, and welcome to Firewatch. Now, Firewatch uh, is a very, very interesting game that caught my eye when I was perusing through the PlayStation Network store. Uh, link to go buy the game is in the description below. Um, and it looked aesthetically beautiful. I watched a preview. Uh, you go through a forest and everything is incredibly vivid and detailed and... Um, the the voice acting sounded pretty good and there was a pretty good premise to the story where it's like you're uh, a national park watchman and uh you're just doing your duty one day and all of a sudden you see like fire start starting and you leave your post uh, and you're communicating with this lady over a handheld radio and you got to figure out what's going on on you lose communication to outside sources so this lady on this handheld radio is your only contact and then something crazy happens where she's like you know where are you and he's like i'm, I'm in the middle of the forest why and she's like then who's been who's the person that i've been seeing in the watchtower and it's like oh my god so it's kind of like a, a, a nature thriller, and it really caught my attention. I wanted to get it and play it the first week that it came out because it looked really good. Unfortunately, I didn't have the moons to necessarily afford it when it came out, so I had to wait a little bit to get it. But I'm very happy and I'm very proud to be bringing this to you now so we can all share this unique experience. I haven't gone past this point um, because it's one, it's one of those games that is on the new, um, it's on the new trend as far as, um, as far as uh, indie games are going, where instead of giving you a menu outright, all you got to do is press one button to get into the experience, and I like that. I really do like that. Uh, that, to me, says that these game developers have confidence that their game is, one, a finished product. You don't need any patches to download to play it. Uh, and it's incredibly well balanced. All the audio, all the video is so well balanced that you don't really need to adjust it. So, I like that. So, without further ado, let's hop into Firewatch. Hopefully, it won't be too loud. Hopefully, you can hear the birds and the ambient sounds and everything up oh, see it's like settings master volume music voice sounds ah yes I want to display subtitles <clears throat> uh, auto save show location on the map toggle head bob show new goal alerts brightness yes I think that is all pretty accurate let me just check one more time yep it has everything that I need, so let's start this new game. Oh, I can do multiple games. That's cool. That's very cool. Didn't know that that game had that in it. But very cool nonetheless. What was that? Campo Santo presents... In... Cooperation with Panic Incorporated. Okay. Boulder, Colorado. Colorado, 1975. Wow, my tongue just tripped all over itself. You see Julia. Okay. Hey Julia, how you doing? I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you am I supposed to press anything to Am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to press X. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU, uh, Colorado University, Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Oh, ho, oh, is this my love interest? You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Uh, I'm drunk. You, you're pretty. No, so, what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like cores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sifts the air. <laughs> Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? 
She says defy. She said definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. <laughs> really? Just because it was a sick burn and I'm drunk? Because I'm a drunk asshole at a bar? Yeah, whatever. All right. Fine, fair enough. I'm in an elevator. Whoa. Hey. Look at me. Oh, aren't I a handsome chap? Look at my feet. At least my shoelaces are tied and not Velcro shoelaces. Nothing wrong with Velcro shoelaces. They're actually pretty cool. Um, I just prefer to lace my shoes up. Wow. That's so cool. And this looks like an elevator. This is beautiful. Oh, look. There's my backpack. And the handrails... The handrails around the elevator make sense. Although I've seen elevators with back handrails. I like the elevators with back handrails. And I like those glass elevators where it's just windows all the way around. Oh, those are so cool. On the inside of buildings, not on the outside of buildings. On the outside of buildings, those are terrifying. But the ones on the inside of buildings, oh, I like those. Can I use the buttons? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at my feet as I walk. Oh, for the backwards. Oh, am I wearing, um, oh, crap. I forgot what those pants are called, but he's not wearing jeans. He's wearing cargo pants or something like that. Ones that kind of end below the knee, but like above the calf or right below the calf. They're a little weird. Oh, no, no. They're just like cargo shorts. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Oh, man backpack i'm not personally not the backpacking type but backpackers have some cool backpacks man not only are they supported on your shoulders but you also get the waistband Ugh. okay i'll pick it up i'll stop being a doof and hello and stop worrying about what's going on with the it's gushing all over the game like oh it's so pretty oh huh. hey ambient clouds that are just kind of hanging out. You know, the super dust that never settles. Look at the garbage can. Is that the cheeseburger we shared? No, that's a... What is that? Oh, that's a bottle of soda. Oh, look at the bottle of soda and cinder blocks. I have a truck. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Makes, makes sense with the build of this character. I, just, I know I have to go to the truck. Can I just leave without the truck and use up all my resources in trying to hitchhike to the place? Can I run? Is running an option? Oh, hey, zoom in with L1. Uh, oh, wait. No. I can't run. But I can get my freedom. I can't, I can't get my freedom. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh, run is square. Okay. Got it. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Oh, this is cool. <sighs> Get in truck. Wait. Can I close that? Load bed, load gear. Okay. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. I like this piano in the background. It's very nice. Very nice. I don't think it's a nine foot grand uh, piano. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Okay. There's going to be some terrible twists. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Uh, she wants the beagle. I could probably tell her she's going to die if I give her the beagle. She's probably going to die regardless, but... Julia's in love. Eh, get the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. 
Julia loves him. You love him too. Of course, this is the one she wanted. It's cool, little Beagle. I like Beagles. 1979. So it's four years later. You talk out on deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, no, but I really do like Beagles. Uh, I wanted a Beagle before I got older. I wanted a Beagle and I wanted a Pug. Now, I want a Newfoundland or a Newfoundland, uh, a Newfie. Uh, because I like bigger dogs. I'm a bigger dude. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, like nearly 300 pounds. Maybe over 300 pounds. I'm a fatty. Um, but I like the bigger dogs because I'm a bigger person. Uh, so I like Newfies. I like Great Danes. I like St. Bernards. But I really want to get uh, a Rottweiler, a Doberman. Dobermans are cool. I like Dobermans. Uh, a Newfoundland... Uh, I wanted a Siberian Husky, but they, they are too high octane for me to personally handle. Like you have to, you have to be an active person to do anything with those. And, um, what's it called? There's another, do I could go for a pit bull. I like a pit bull. I took care of a pit bull one time. It was really cool. They have great personalities. I know what you're thinking. You like all the dangerous breeds. They're not dangerous. You just have to be mindful of the dog and don't be a dick when you raise it. And the dog will be fine and well-adjusted. Think about kids. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have one, a couple a couple little idiots. Hmm. Well, I guess, you know... It, for him, it doesn't seem like, for Henry, for me, it doesn't seem like I'm particularly on a career path that would take me away from quote-unquote family. I mean, we're not married yet, but, you know, if you live a life where it's pretty simple and you don't have too much other responsibility that would really like pull you away from your family then sure go ahead and have kids yeah that'd be pretty good okay in this scenario yeah in that case we should probably get married yeah i would like that you say these kids are going to be screwed up enough it's probably for the best that their parents are hitched you say she's absolutely right okay cool whatever hey works for me. oh i'm in control again i'm surprised the backpack didn't like bounce out but maybe he didn't hit potholes if that were me i could have fit the backpack in the passenger seat but yeah whatever whatever maybe it had enough weight that it wasn't going anywhere thoroughfare trailhead do not forget to check in god that's bright no fireworks of course you're in a forest thoroughfoot trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers okay you're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Yes, learn to live with all animals because we are encroaching upon their environment. You know, don't be a dick and do things that are mindful to the things around you and you will tend to be okay in nature. Two forks. Can I take this? Can I has this? Can I has that and a compass and figure out which side of the... Oh, that's something to look at. Is there moss growing on these trees? Because moss always grows on the north side of trees, so that's a good way to orient yourself when you're in a forest. Once you can figure out which way due north is, or magnetic north, either one, you can pretty much figure out which way you're going to go as far as a uh, direction in the forest. Now, if you're in the desert or the Antarctic, sorry for you, there's nothing I can do, or not much else you can do. But oh, this is beautiful. Look at the birds overhead. I once had a bird dump on my head. That was not fun times when I was in middle school. Fortunately, I had a hood on. But uh, I had to walk around the rest of the day with bird dropping on my hood. It was gross. Because I wasn't a smart enough kid to say, let me go to the bathroom and rinse this off. Nope, left it there. And no one said anything. That's the thing that tripped me out about that. 1980. 
Okay, so this is five years after I've met her. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Wait, what? Well, you know what? Technically, I don't think they had the same type of cell phones that we have now. So she's four hours late. She doesn't call you worried and getting angrier by the minute. I'd just be getting more worried. Like, is she okay? She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I don't know. If I'm a, if I ignore her, I'm shutting down the lines of communication. But if I'm mad, we're not communicating properly. But I'd rather be communicating at all than not communicating. So I get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck off and not to be such a baby. You call her shellfish. Selfish, not shellfish. I can't talk. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. That's the truth. Why is she drinking? 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Do Victoria's Secret models frolic? I don't know. I've only seen them in sexy poses in underwear. You pose and flex like He-Man. That sounds a little more like me. You look awesome. I think either way I would have got that response. Eh, whatever. Okay. Why am I here? It looks like it's getting late. Eh, whatever. And the dusk is so cool in this game. Oh, it has an orange glow, kind of like it would in the forest. And I'm going to stare at the sun because I can't go blind this way. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, this place is beautiful. I like, it seems like regularly animated, but also cell shaded at the same time. It's, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful and shadows. Do I have a shadow? Oh, props game. Props game. Some developers would leave that little detail out. I've got a shadow. I really appreciate that attention to detail. Am I supposed to be seeing something as I journey through the forest? There's something on the horizon because I don't see anything. I'm just walking through this wonderful landscape. It's very awesome. What is this? Two forks. Two forks. Oh, two forks lookout tower. A more mile still. All right, what? Eight more miles still. Oh, shoot. Climb over obstacles. Hip -hip. Hip -hip. I was going to look up at the sun anyway. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Okay. It's going to be a Batman story. There's a festival in town. It brings folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Knew it! Bucket gets kicked. Bia bia fa the dog. Julia yelled, what? She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Now I scare him away. You reach through your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all th he you manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Okay. He kicked Bucket, but at least in 1984, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. That's understand. Why has the music taken a dramatic turn? I did it. I, I won. I scared the guy off. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Well, why don't I want to move? You convince her not to take the job. Okay. All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to cut the episode here in the middle of this crucial decision. So, uh... 
I can convince her not to take the job, which is going to result in her being extremely dissatisfied with life and possibly resenting me, but it's 2,000 miles away. Why should she have to communicate, uh, commute two-thirds of the distance of America? Why don't we just move? And, or I can agree if she commutes back and forth. So she's either going to resent me for convincing her not to take the job, or if she agrees, she's probably just going to get an apartment out there and we're going to get a divorce because she doesn't feel like it and the marriage isn't what she expected. You know, she wanted to have kids and unfortunately work has prevented us from having children. I can see us just breaking up. So I'm just going to agree and say she commutes back and forth. She's probably going to meet someone else, get someplace out there, be happy or get pregnant by somebody else and we're going to get a divorce. So that's the decision that I am going with. Oh, the light on my PlayStation 4 controller is pink. That's very cool. Mimicking the game. Uh, so we'll continue with this next time with this decision. So thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow and share the video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter and hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos thus far. And I am the outlier and I will see you all in the next video.